It's uh, only one change from the side that uh, beat Katowice in Glasgow. Ali McCoy's in for Kevin Drinkle. And the Rangers substitute Jimmy Nicholl, Nicky Walker, John McGregor, Derek Ferguson and Ian McCall. Goal, which gave Rangers such a surprise. Jan Furtok, the so uh, captain the of the Katowice side. Goal in a very dangerous position just outside the Rangers penalty area and the Rangers wall being lined up. But it's Furtok, the captain, to take it. Furtok, wood slips and it's a goal! The goal for Katowice. The early goal they wanted and the one that Rangers did not to lose. And Jan Kutov to take this one. Wood slips and it's a goal for Kadovice. <laughs> Keeping possession is all important. Be good. Again, Rangers pull everyone back by Ali McCoist. Side given against the darting Furtok as he tried to break through the middle as uh, Morsenek tried to push it through to him. Butcher. Walters knocking it down well, but uh, McCoy had drifted right. An easy pick up. Rudy dropping deep and spraying the ball well out to that left touch line. Kerpiash and Rudy as Rangers let them knock it about in midfield. Marcinic. And Furtok's look not coming off. A 1 2 played by Durant. Ferguson. Walters breaking fast in the right. Return to Durant. Walters, McCoy's in the middle, so is Cooper. The double shuffle. And the corner, the first corner of the match given to Rangers. So let's see what Rangers can do from the set piece. Almost 11 minutes played in the first half. And only the fifth goal that uh, Rangers have conceded in 13 games so far. This season, Yoiko waiting as in it comes. Butchers up there, oh, great save by Yoiko. McCoy's gives the keeper a pat on the head and he deserved it because Butcher's header was net bound as Yoiko touched it over from the set piece. Rangers second corner. And it comes again, Butcher, Yoiko with the fist. Knocked back in, out by Kapiash. Cooper. McCoy's battling away, wins it back for Cooper, hugging the touchline. Good positive challenge there by little Rudy, number eight. But a useful midfield player. Cooper has another goal. Rudy's there, but has to concede another corner. Rangers third. So can Butcher come up again? He's there at the near post and causing consternation in the Polish defence. It's Walters deciding to take this one. Again, looking for the near post, but it was a bit low. So Yoiko defying Rangers as Wilkins tries with the cross. A little bit strong, but it'll go for another corner. So Rangers rattle up four corners within a couple of minutes. Paul's looking a little suspect in the air. This may well be an opportunity for Rangers to exploit. Mark Walters. Yes! Terry Butcher! And the Rangers captain has levelled the scores after 13 minutes. 
joy and delight for the Rangers players and for the hundred or so Rangers fans who've made the journey to Poland. Terry Butcher, the equaliser for Rangers, and it is the up one two. It was the fourth corner that did it. Rangers are level. One one the score line. Here's the free kick to Patrice. And they'll start again. So Rangers now a 2-1 advantage on aggregate. 1-1 on the night. Will do a very best. Munro takes a free kick downfield. Picked up by Navrocki to Rudy. These are the two men that have been springing Katowice forward. But uh, Rangers have withstood that early challenge from Katowice. And look, they're beginning now to ooze confidence as Walters sees more of the ball out on the right flank. Back he comes. Support from Stevens, and that'll be a free kick. Quickly taken along the ground. Durant not quite stabbing it uh, to the man he wanted. Stevens trying to put pressure on the Polish defence. Playing it right across the box. Egon. Ihash, number five. Rudy. Kubishtal is a speed merchant, but Woods is there. Navrocki, Rangers quite content to give him a bit of space. Picked up by Cooper, Ian Ferguson, Gary Stevens. Rangers coming forward very confidently. McCoy's going down in that challenge from behind. And the Italian referee awarding another free kick to Rangers. And McCoy has gone down. He may need a little bit of treatment. They're asking the referee's permission for Phil Bosma to come on. But... Alan McCoyst is back on his feet. The Italian referee wants the game to get underway, and it will with a free kick to Rangers. Almost 17 minutes played in the first half. And after a shaky start, Rangers beginning to get to terms with the game. Wilkins, Butcher there again, and a great goal! The Rangers captain exposing the Katowice inexperience in the air. And look at the joy and delight. Terry Butcher gets his second. Two goals in four minutes for Rangers. Two headers from Terry Butcher. And the scoreline in Katowice reads. Rangers two, Katowice one. Ball sack. Again, Rangers trying to close down space, but don't talk away from goal. And that really was uh, alarm bells ringing there for the Rangers defence. Fort the man who's going to Hamburg. Turned golf inside out, got the chance, and really should have done better than placing it wide of Chris Wizard's right hand. Here he is again, wanting to be in the thick of things for Katowice. Goff timing his header. Stevens. 
Picked up by Karchik. A little bit too close. Rangers. And McCoyce is onside. Ferguson's made a great run into the box in support. McCoy shoots and shoots wide. A great chance for Rangers in the final minute of the first half. But I have to say, when the ball came through, it looked as if McCoy was offside, but he played to the whistle, all credit to him. But couldn't finish. Cooper now. In stoppage time in the first half. Rangers settle for the throw. The referee's checked with his linesman. Has another look at his watch. There it is, half time, and a very satisfactory first half performance by Rangers. They lead Katowice by two goals to one. They lost an early goal by Jan Furtok after four minutes. A free kick that certainly caused problems for Chris Woods, and the Poles were ahead. But two set pieces and two corners, two headers from Terry Butcher, and it is Rangers who are ahead at half time and a very important scoreline. 2-1 for Rangers. Rangers ready to get the second half underway. Leading by two goals to one. No substitutes on either side at half time. And a freshening breeze, if anything, in Rangers' favour coming from left to right. The game being played in the Slasky Stadium in Horsov. The Katowice ground is under reconstruction. So Katowice again, trying to come forward. Rehash again as Rangers adopts similar tactics at the start of the second half that proved so successful in the first and uh, Graham Souness has obviously done his uh, work on uh, Katowice and of course Vladislav Zamuda who previously put one over the Ibrox boss when he was with Liverpool when uh, Vitsev Lotz put out uh, the English champions And let's see what distance Chris Woods gets with this one. Bit of pushing there by number seven, Christoph Walsack on uh, Gary Stevens. And Ferguson dissenting the referee's decision there. And that's a silly thing to do because it was a free kick to Katowice. Now they're on the break. Having drawn Rangers forward, Kubistal, he packs a shot. Great save by Woods. Wonder save from Miroslav Kubistal. The Rangers defence stood back, let him go across them. And then a super shot that Woods produced the save of the match. Hash driving it down and the Poles now beginning to throw the long ball forward more often as time begins to run out for them great save by Woods again to deny Walsack and Woods looks as if he may well have just pulled a muscle but uh, it was Walsack who found the space on the edge of the six yard box but look at that magnificent save from Chris Woods Again, Furtok setting up the chance. Kapiash, Rangers defence stretched. But it's Durant of all people clearing it. Kubistal, oh, great goal! 
17 minutes into the second half. Kubis now a raging shot and Katowice arm level. 2-2 on the night. Rangers ahead, 3-2 on aggregate. And really, the cross was headed out and it only came as far as Kubis down on a great drive. Passwoods finally beaten and the Bulls fighting back. Pikarczyk. As Rangers get back into midfield, a reminder of the scoreline. 20 minutes left here in the Schlaski Stadium. Rortok finding a little room. Can't do a lot with it, crowded out. McCoyst slipping one way then the other and a great effort under pressure there and Yoiko having to turn it past for a corner Butcher in it goes missed and Durant's there Rangers have made it 3-2 Ian Durant all alone and look at the joy of jubilation Ali McCoy salutes the Rangers supporters who are here and the Polish supporters begin to ease off the terracings because that goal virtually ensures Rangers victory tonight leading by three goals to two 26 minutes played in the second half another corner, another set piece missed by the defender and Ian Durant just casually jabbed it home Oh, a gap through the middle. Blocked by Goff there as Katia seemed to find the room for the shot. Ferguson winning it for Cooper. Battles hard. Now, Durant, a nice flick on. Back comes Durant. The shot, and Ferguson is not all that far away. So again, Karavici, the pace and pattern of the game over the night being dictated by Rangers Padovici a very very good side as Graham soon has said in the build up to this match but on the night Rangers proving to be the stronger and more disciplined better tactics and better finishing and of course they've had Chris Woods as well Rangers withstood the pressure and now Walters Gary Stevens Durant again making the run into the box turning his man going in bravely flick back Ian Ferguson oh that's a great goal goal number four for Rangers 33 minutes Ian Ferguson crashes in a tremendous effort 4-2 on the night, 5-2 in aggregate, Butcher joining in. And really, Rangers built it up down the right, Stevens helped, Durant was brave, the vision to cut it back, and Ferguson's shot was in and out of the net before the goalkeeper could move. The giant scoreboard away to our right showing Rangers 4, 
GKS Cardigan Saint 2. 34 minutes played in the second half. As Woods again having to go down and Kenny Butcher takes no chances. Campy Ash more or less saying, what can I do? Valsack not pleased, but Rangers certainly pleased with the performance of Chris Woods tonight. And it's all over. The referee's whistle sounding about 10 seconds early. A great victory for Rangers on the night. Terry Butcher saluting the fans who have come to see their side finish in commanding form by four goals to two.